Hello there! So today we're gonna be doing things a bit different in this episode. I kinda messed up quite a bit of the voice recording, especially in the beginning of the episode, so I'm kinda doing this uh, commenting post-filming the episode. I also did a bit of filming while I was doing my usual grind, what I usually want to do off camera, but sometimes I leave the camera open kinda to get interesting things. And I met this guy. If you just slow it down for a while. I thought if I killed this guy that I would get the the scute, you know, the one you can use for the turtle shell helmet. But, well, this happened to the poor guy. And all I got from him was this lousy seagrass. Yeah. So, in regards to the sound real quick. I'm having a new setup right now, so I'm hoping the sound quality, at least for the first part of this video, is better. But you can let me know in the comments what you think. Anyways, as you can see here, I went out for some, I think you call it technical fishing to kind of get some food. I was kind of like on a grinding run and and I already found quite a bit of food. And then this caught my eye. If you can see in the distance, there's some light on the water. So I know when there's light on the water, that usually means sea pickles, which usually means there's a coral reef. So of course I went there full speed ahead and yeah, I decided that I would bring some coral back. I actually never really had any coral blocks. To my disappointment though, because I didn't know any better, that when you mine these, you get like these dead coral blocks. I haven't really looked into what you can use them for yet, so maybe, maybe they could be useful. I also got a bit of pickles. I kind of like the pickles, you can kind of make uh, the ocean floor look great. Anyways, after quite a while, I went into land because I wanted to find this village I talked about earlier. And, well, this happened. Boom. Yeah. Anyways, I was a bit disheartened, so I built myself a new set of armor, including a shield. And then I went down adventuring. Eventually, I came across this swamp and there was a lot of monsters and it was night. So yeah, I kind of had to do some battling. Quite a bit of battling, actually. Kind of like the shield, though, that can block these arrows. So that kind of makes skeletons quite a bit easier to deal with now, right? Yeah, so I killed these guys. There was also spiders. And then this happened. Underwater zombies. But look at this. They actually turned into drowned. I did not know that. I honestly thought that drowned ones spawned as drowned, which I think they also do. But apparently, these turned in zombies turned into the drowned. So yeah. Anyways, I kind of killed them off, and then I continued exploring. So I found this cave, and I thought I can do a bit of mining here, and then this guy surprised me. And notice my health. I'm really low on health here, and I'm kind of almost panicking here. What to do? What to do? I wanted to block off the. The, the path, but I was too late. Luckily, my trusty shield saved me again. So, anyways, I kind of battled down this guy and... Yeah, from here on out, the rest of the episode will play from that cave there. I set up a small camp and let's see what happens from there, shall we? So now that you are all caught up, then you at least know that we are right now out of venturing. Um, my goal was actually to try to find a village. Uh, I wanted to find some, some a village with a library so we can get some books, so we can build our own library and start doing some enchanting. For now, I think we should go and see if we can find a village. So let's just do that. Maybe I'll leave just a little wee bit of food here in case I ever get back. It's actually nice to have these small pockets or pocket bases or what you want to call it. I like to do that just as I do with the crafting tables all over the place. I sometimes like to have even a chest with some food or whatever. You know, if you randomly die or randomly run out of food when you're out traveling, it's always nice to kind of have like uh, some cash around. Call it cash. Yeah, I suppose. A cash, a cash. A place where you can stash stuff. So right now I'm in the swamp that you saw me fight the drowned. 
was actually surprised to see that zombies underwater turns into drowned. I actually thought that they spawned as drowned. Um, so yeah, that caught me by surprise. Yeah, so if you noticed, I've built a compass. You know, as I said in an earlier episode that I'm really bad at finding my way around. So I figured if I at least brought a compass, there might be a chance that I find my way back home. Assuming that we'll survive this, of course. So I was looking to join this uh, Minecraft community online. And to do that, there was a few questions that I had to answer. And one of them is, what is your favorite block? And I had to think a bit about that, actually. And I think back in the day, I would have said redstone. I think that's a common answer for everyone. But after building the staircase that you've seen back in the base in, was it the last of the episode before that? I actually gotten a real liking to the polished blocks, like polished granite, polished diorite, and polished andesite. So actually my response to the answer was um, polished diorite. I know I kind of like these uh, white colors in, in general, just as with these uh, birch wood here. But I used birch wood a lot for all the builds, and diorite was something new. And building that staircase really. I really like how it looks. I know there's also like concrete, you can get like the white concrete, right? And I think that looks better. It doesn't really fit the style I'm going for there, but it definitely looks better. But it's like, it's harder to get the concrete, right? You need to craft it and all that. And the diorite is, is very common. So I think because it's fairly easy to get and it's fairly decent looking, I chose that as my at least current favorite block. Ooh, look what we've got here. Finally. Let's hope there's something worthwhile here. Let's just start with the outermost house and then work our way in from there. Hello there. Cartography tape. Let's leave it here. Food. T-map. T-map. Paper. Not a bad start. I should have cleared my inventory before going. I have like a shit ton of stuff. Can I like... Yeah, it's not gonna help you in any way though. But let's do it anyways. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And now it's getting dark. I hope there's a bed somewhere so we can sleep. <laughs> See, that is what I call timing. Good night. So what is this material here? Thank you kindly, Mr. Villager, whoever you are. See, I've gifted you with floating glass. And what have we got here? Eh. More bread. Don't take that as a complaint. I was just hoping for some books. So we don't really need that. Feathers. I like those for arrows. And potatoes. Seeds we can always get. Kind of look like I get gazebo now. Do you have a water issue here? What happened? I noticed that there's no villages around. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, it's a big village. You even have a golem. Nice. That spells potential. What do we have here? Blast furnace. I want one of those. Oh, there's a zombie spawner. That's close to the village. That's amazing. And cried. Dangerous for the poor villagers. Let's just quickly light this one up. Okay. Interesting. Diamond armor for a horse. Yes, and a lot of gunpowder. 
Some more bones. Coal. Sure, why not? So, let's just quickly eat something. Don't we have some kind of... I don't know why, but I always want to keep apples, I suppose, so I can make golden apples from them. I want the bell. I want it. Thank you. So... Get away out of this string. Hi, Mr. Golem. Take good care of your villagers. Can you cut stones? What can you cut? Oh, okay. Like that. It's actually cheaper, isn't it? It's actually cheaper than crafting it. Right? Because when you're crafting, you get what? Three, four? For six. Interesting. Let's grab this one. Don't look so upset. It's it's for important business. Don't look so angry. Turn your back on me. Is that the same village we just were in or is that a new one? Let's check it out. This is a new one. This is definitely a new one. Oh, this looks interesting. Hello there. What do we got here? What is this? What is this? How do I get that? Oh, yes. I want the lamp. I really want the lamp. So let's grab it instead of this terracotta thing. What is this then? Apparently it's hard to mine. Should we do it like this? And we do smithing table. Interesting. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Look at all those lanterns. Oh. You know, villagers, you have like a serious pothole problem here. You know what? I'll do you the service and fix it for you. At least just partially fix it, I suppose. And you don't even have to thank me. There you go. Problem solved. Oh, zombie attacking. Stay away from my new friends. Stop making me burn. So I'm here to steal your lamps. Thank you. Lamp. I'm gonna grab it. Lamp. We're really, we're really living up to the to the name of this uh, update, right? Village and pillage. You guys got a golem here too. Nothing to. Oh, that's an igloo. Gonna look at that once we found the bed. I hear him, he's just outside. You sound weird. What's wrong with you? You look crazy. What are you? Slowness, okay, so he slows. What the hell? There's so much new stuff in this game I've missed out on apparently. Okay, the time has come. Do you live in there? Is that an interesting place? Hello? Well, that's just plain rude, kid. I'm gonna go check myself then. Yeah, I think that was a disappointment. Nothing interesting here. Well, at least I just created a nice basement for them. Anyways, I think that was it for this episode. So if you like what we're doing here, maybe consider leaving a like. And uh, if you're new here, subscribe to take along for the ride. Anyways, let's see if we find our way home in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. And you'll see me in the next episode. Bye.